Welcome back to the Skyrim Nuzlocke. This is episode 10. ten. Very good. This time, I have to go back to Windhelm and start a new quest by retrieving some armor from uh, Palace of the Kings. So let's get that started, shall we? Luckily, last episode I ended off right here, so it's just a matter of getting in, getting the armor, and going from there. I will have to return to White Rock, but I do have the Dragon's Reach quest to do. I own Hallefrost Farm outside the city. It's honest work. Opening Windhelm. Installing orcs. Can you imagine if this was a randomizer and there were just orcs roaming around in Windhelm and Nords running around orc encampments? Horses. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? About as dull as your personality, it seems. Jeez. Oh yeah, I do still have the viola thing. So I could do that. But before I do that, let's go talk to the smith. See what he's got. It might have something useful for me, like a quest. Be careful! Everyone says Yorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Depends on what you've got. Not a great deal in the weapons area. Definitely not a great deal in the armor area. But I can potentially sell you a couple of things. The Dwarven Arrow, or the Great Sword of Ice. The Mace of Ice. Orcish War Axe, no. Six or seven. We're gonna take the seven. Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in White Run. I respect Yorland, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter. If that makes any sense. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. All right, onward to the palace. The Imperials think we need their laws. Luckily, this passageway leads directly to the palace. No lolly gagging. I don't know any lollies, and even if I did, I wouldn't gag them. They are not something for me. What is it? All right, where is the storm cloaks are fighting victory lead? across the land? I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. What do you got? Yarl has put out a bounty to slay a giant. Here, take a look at this decree for details. I've already established that I can kill giants. So that's safe. good. It's dangerous out there. Next him. Fight or die well. Gotcha message. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. You got the grit to get this done? They're as good as dead. 
Excellent. Put the fear of the nine into those motherless dogs. Retrieve. Ooh. Can't unequip the item, but it will. Join the garrison at the battle site. Okay. So technically speaking, I can go to Dragon's Reach, start the dragon thing, and then go back. Or I can just use the carriage to get back to Whiterun and be even closer to my destination. And still have the dragon stone for later. I think that might be smarter, because I don't the know what's going to happen if I mess up the timing of the dragon. Now I gotta listen to you as I pass by again. Horses yep. all day long. Do you have any yeah, let's not let you finish that sentence. Sorry, I guess your Skyrim horses don't have nearly as much personality as real life horses. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Alpharin? Alfarin? Where do you want to go? Interesting game. Take me back to White. Climb and back and we'll be off. Oh, steady. Oh, really? I never would have guessed that by now. Alchemy labs can be used to combine ingredients into useful potions and deadly poisons. Perhaps the most deadly of poisons is ignorance about using alchemy tables. You may not believe in magic, but uh, this is technically science. First off, I have to get rid of this marker, so we'll uh, remove the marker. West, Battle of Champions, where do I need to be? Back behind everything. So it would be better if I went this way. Don't know how smart this particular spell is going to be, but uh, this is what we're using. I heard a wolf. I guess it was just the windmill. Chill for a farm. How do you furrow a chill exactly? Beyond that, how do you chill a furrow? What even is a furrow? I don't know. Well, there's the house I can't buy. I am locked to Dawnstar, so I'd have to build my house somewhere. I can't exactly do that until I've helped people in the hold. So that's part of the Nuzlocke requirement, is I have to help people in the hold and get myself a house. Oh, it's these guys. I don't think this is a very smart place for you guys. Why is that? 
Why is that? Because there's a battle about to happen over here. Like, just across the road. Pleasant weather for a war, no? Such casual conversation. This should be fun. For the Emperor! For the glory of the Empire! AOE effects. Everybody dies. Exception. Imperial shield. That's actually quite interesting. Gotta take that whole set, you know? Alright, weapons. Let's see. Dragon's Oath is 16. And my soul food is 10. So we're gonna do Dragon's Oath. It's got to be up there. Storm Bear. Okay, so when I need to use Hand to hand combat or sword combat, I'll be using that shield. And uh, Dragon's Oath sounds good. Just gonna let you guys take care of your own problem. We'll take the white run stuff. Torch is always useful. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. It's not a what Skyrim playthrough without having that statement come out. Alright, well. Now that I finished that, I might as well use my teleport to get right into Dragon's Reach. And let's go fight us a dragon. Ready for another loading screen? Here we go. <laughs> oh, wait, I guess I don't get one because it's in between 
a city and one of its buildings. You see? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. We've Perhaps got nothing to Perhaps dating to just about. after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let me visitor. show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. Got you the stone? What that now? is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait, Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? Sure. How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Not the time, Mr. Guard. Hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. So, your left tells yourself. me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me. About the dragon. Oh, that's right. I saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. While well, everyone else Here is it. trying not to die, you get to take a nap. Guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the Dragon Stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Provided please, the city doesn't burn down. Accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like oh, to see Major you. Archer. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Alright, five minute cutscene done. The guards in Dragon Street say you aided the yard. You have a white run, I thank you. You're welcome, sir. But we're not done yet. We have a Durgan to call.
you doing outside the house at night? Aren't children supposed to be inside? this to the test because I have no way of guaranteed killing the dragon so I just have to uh, pelt it with elemental bolts yep I got stuck shouldn't be too far away from this direction party to get here. Should be here any minute. That over there does not look like it was just circling overhead. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Dealing with the dragon? I thought you already knew that. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. See if I can't do more damage with my destruction skills. Yeah. 
thought we were all dead for sure. We killed it. I, I killed it. You helped. Oh, I thought we were all dead for sure. I, I figured that after you said it the first time. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I think you may be right. Yes, I think I am. You can shout now. That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them, like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irileth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irileth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical Dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't an all. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this Dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White Run right away. Jarl Balgruff will want to know what happened here. We taught that dragon not to mess with White Run, didn't we? Well, that was a lot easier than I expected with just one singular boost to the elemental bolt spill. Less than a ten minute fight. Oh, here comes the courier. I've been looking. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. What could you possibly have just delivered? This one. I mean, you didn't have to give me permission. I was going to keep it anyway. While I'm right here, let's go ahead and turn this in.
Dude looks so much like Odin. Already been told you're not allowed. Did it? Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for. That's a quest I'm not interested in right now. Why are you walking away? Then? What? Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Sure, whatever. There's been talk amongst the gods that you are dragon. But such a thing, surely that's not possible. I mean, My I did just shout, so I'd say blood. that it is. go back and become a thane just for starting this quest good you're finally here the yarl's been waiting for you so what happened at the watchtower was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Yeah. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Okay, is that the guys that screamed at me? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Why does that sound like it's part of a country song? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avanichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. And the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. Yeah, such an honor, it's forced I upon you. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? 
We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Is there anything you need from me? Of course. It's all in this note. Steward's note in the shadows. May the gods watch over your battle, friend. Where'd Farangar go? Sleeping. What's this? Ethereum Wars. It's another quest. Red Eagle is another quest. I don't think the rest of these are quests. Get your thieving hands off that! Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Firebolts. That's the one I needed. Somehow I missed that one. Well, I won't need that for that. rings you know if you've got the aptitude you should join the majors college in winter hole the Jarl has appointed me to be your house Carl it's an honor to serve you Lead the way. All right. You couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of legend, could you? <laughs> well, apparently I am. You know, I saw something near Shimmer Mist Cave to the northeast. Some kind of creature, small and wicked. Never seen its like before. Hmm. May need to look into that. And now, I'm going to use this empty square as our ending point. So, thank you for watching this episode, and I hope you'll stick around for the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the flip side.